Good afternoon, good afternoon, ladies, gents, Piot here. This is Light Forest Global YouTube channel. And the US cash market is about to open within the next few seconds. So we are going to check uh, what is going on at the very beginning um, when we are talking about the indices. Taking into the consideration um, the uh, ADP today, right, which was uh, much better than what market was expecting. Uh, 160 uh, was expectations. 202 uh, was um, the, 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 the number and the previous one was revised higher to 124. Okay, so that's quite, that's quite, uh, well, good, significant development. Um, and it would be uh, it would be something uh, we can deliberate here, uh, but you know we have this ADP we have on Friday non-farm payrolls, but we do have in the background Iran and China. So when in, when it comes to when it comes to Iran, looks like Mr. Market uh, and it's open already, looks like Mr. Market uh, or Planche Protection Team, right? Uh, the team created by the Fed. Looks like Market thinks, Mr. Market thinks that, well, we are done. The, the uh, evening or overnight Iran action, right? one and done okay and the question the real question is uh if iran really consider uh, this this uh, this event overnight event as a sufficient response for the uh, soleimani so that's the question and i think that mr market uh, well is totally totally not aware that uh, and it's pricing wrongly right but <laughs> How can market price correct <laughs> if it's if it's manipulated uh, by all those uh, central uh, central gangsters, right? Well, anyway, uh, that's the Nasdaq, and we have clear range. What I'm looking for here, uh, I'm looking for some kind of the uh, well, sorry, I'm looking for some kind of the uh, failure at the top, right? Something like this. So stop hunt to the upside. And I'm going to look uh, for rejection lower, and I'm not gonna be surprised uh, to see a bottom of that range uh, to be tested. All right, but uh, I think that S and P is uh, even weaker, and uh, probably I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna try to go with S and P. As you can see, it's uh, a little bit uh, different and looks like a little bit weaker. So let's have a look what we have. Nice, nice, right? I'm gonna watch carefully this uh, trend line on S&P. Very similar uh, stuff as on uh, Nasdaq. I'm looking for a stop cleaning to the upside, right? I'm looking for a stop cleaning to the uh, to the upside. So one more time. Like this. And that's gonna be some kind of the visualization. I would like to see that on the 30 minute chart, for example, right? Uh, the more aggressive approach, uh, I'm going to watch this uh, possible over under we have here, right? Around 3,251 based on my chart. Uh, eventually to try to uh, be more aggressive, right? So trying to attack already here. But if we are going to get as visualized, I may add into that position, all right, on S and P. So that's uh, that's how I see the things. Um, that's how I see the things on the U.S. indices. Uh, what uh, what I have, uh, if you remember this morning, um, I've been overall dollar short. Uh, how the things end up? Uh, I been around entry i exited from euro dollar uh, if you remember i moved my stop uh, below the entry on the short dollar yen i've been uh, i've been it was like profit plus one uh, and i did very well on the cable 
and the remaining half uh, left with me, I closed another half almost around the top and I moved my stop Everything was recorded. So I closed half of the half, almost around the top. And then for the like quarter left, I've been playing with the stop. And finally on this pullback, I've been stopped here with the stop profit. So overall cable yesterday, perfectly, uh, perfectly uh, traded to the downside and yesterday opened to the upside and on the way higher I've been taking uh, partial profits uh, here somewhere here and then finally somewhere here so uh, overall the cable was the best uh, trade when it comes to the uh, short dollar position uh, euro is staying still weak uh, and that's what we discussed below the weekly open uh, so good thing is that I, I managed to uh, to escape uh, but well uh, yesterday if you remember um, I mentioned about uh, that today but uh, it was done yesterday I've been trading uh, Europe on and there I've been stopped but come on I uh, the, 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 the the cable especially yesterday cable with 5 R was 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 great so uh, we know what I'm gonna to do on the indices um, I'm still watching dollar yen. Uh, that was my original selling levels, and you can believe it or not, they hit the high just shy under my limit order. So once they started to pulling back, once they started to pulling back, right, as you can see. I hit sell button uh, so I'm a first tiny short already in the in the market uh, again very similar very similar to uh, indices I do expect at least retest of the weekly open and if you remember uh, I was extremely unlucky when, because when it uh, I, I can say I was very very lucky very I did very well on the cable but if you remember uh, what we discussed this morning and you've seen it because I I've been still short right I didn't place limit order uh, and during this overnight price action right the weekly open that would be na natural target and uh, well I would be very very well done here uh, but of course they all the way up, uh, plunge protection team from the Fed uh, moved the market higher. So now uh, we know uh, what is going on with ADP. So the expectations uh, are a bit higher for the non-farm payrolls on Friday, right? Uh, but I think the background we have still Iran, still China. Uh, so I do expect some a little bit higher uh, volatility in that uh, in that case. Uh, so when it comes uh, when it comes to the uh, dollar yen, uh, so that's that's how I see. I'm waiting. Uh, if I'm gonna be filled, all my stops are gonna be uh, just above 109, right? Um, I'm going to have average entry uh, somewhere around 77, 78, uh, taking into the consideration the lower entry as well, right? Um, so well, we will see. I'm 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 negative actually. Um, on the dollar yen. Then uh, euro dollar. Um, well, looks like we might see uh, even lower levels, right? So uh, from the uh, euro dollar perspective, looks like it might be all about uh, one ten seventy five again, right? So let's have a look what we are going to get uh, once we are going to revisit this level so in that case this over under might be in play right so somewhere between uh, 1080 11070 if you are a bullish also based on one two one right but then uh, it's all about what kind of the bounce we are going to get from here either it's going to be uh, something like this right 
or maybe there are going to be some kind of the disappointment based on the uh, Friday non-farm payrolls and we are going to get something like that. Wow, that would be that would be nice. Uh, if you remember, um, the bulls uh, escaped the crash last Friday, so maybe it's going to be very similar, very similar uh, this Friday. But we are going to get back uh, when it comes to the non-farm non payers. No worries uh, about about that. All right. Cable in the middle of the range. Respecting the downside, uh, the downside uh, possible uh, demand zone we discussed a few times already, right? The yellow uh, nasty move to the downside from here, hitting, uh, hitting that level, trying to bounce. Uh, I'm going to closer towards the towards the fixing. I'm going to look if we are going to retest this 3080, 3070, and if any kind of the positive price action, I may join the party again to the upside on the cable. On the other hand, here is the first possible liquidity, second possible li liquidity. So if you are long, uh, that's your possible targets. Uh, I would be very careful. Uh, I would be very sorry. I would be very careful trying to short it uh, right here, but uh, based on the yellow box we have, uh, I may reconsider uh, join the party again above 132 to the to the downside at least for now. What is important, guys, and you have to remember about that, uh, is that President Trump is going to make the statement on Iran uh, with the next with the next. Uh, one and a half hour, right? So be careful. Uh, we might see some spikes again. The big question is uh, what Iran is going to do. Um, well, if if it's going to do anything. And then we have another uh, Mr. President Trump speech later today during the second part of the US session. If something important, I'm going to make the uh, evening update. Also watching, just uh, finalizing finalizing our, our uh, meeting. I'm also watching um, Euro JPY, uh, if you remember, and adding uh, Australian dollar uh, versus JPY. Euro JPY still uh, well below uh, my selling zone all right uh, but uh, australian dollar uh, slowly slowly uh, approaching uh, 75 uh, actually hit the bottom of the possible hit the bottom of the possible supply but i want to see them a little bit higher towards 75 7505 uh, all right guys so uh, for now mm, pretty much that's it from me uh, in this uh, us cash market open update uh, if necessary if something urgent of course i'm going to uh, make the uh, us close update as well so take care don't be trapped let's listen to the president trump and let's see the market reaction take care guys and goodbye